Hello, my name is Ruben de la Iglesia and I work as a product manager in Comap. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add modules in, in our configurations. It's the modules that are available for IntelliSys Intelligent. The first thing that we need is use GenConfig. You can enter from IntelliMonitor, from IntelliMonitor GenConfig, as you can see here. Or you can open directly from Windows. Now that it's open, the only thing that we need to go is in the tab of modules. We need to go to extension modules. If I click there, we can find a standard extension. You can also find virtual one, virtual cert, ECU brights, and the last ones that are the generic extension. If I open a standard extension, you will see all the different modules that we have in Comap, okay, that you can add in this configuration. So to add it, I just need to select one, the one I want, and press insert. And there we have our module. Now we have some configuration that we can do. Here, for example, we can choose the, the CAN address. The CAN, remember that is using CAN1 for these modules. You can choose also the protection level. It could be that it's in case that there are some failures in the communication. You can use no protection at all, just some warning, or a shutdown. When there is some mistake in the communication, it's shut down of the controller. And of course, it depends on the thing that we want for our project or our configuration. We can also change the, the name of the prefix that is going to appear when there is some alarm related to this, to this module. We can decide if we want to add automatic screens or not, OK? And in case that we want to add it, we can choose if we want numbers or paragraphs or bar graphs. In some modules, uh, for example, we can choose this one. We can see here even uh, which is the hardware configuration that we need to do. For example, here, if I change, I have the module index 2. And here down, it showed me that this part of the hardware needs to be connected to 2. As you can see here. Now, if I change to other one, to 3, for example, you will see that now the, ar the arrow changes and now it's pointed to number 3. It happened in different modules, not only in that one. Here you can see another one. You can see the address is 2 and it's pointed to number 2. So the GenConfig is quite useful for use these modules. After we add these modules and we configure it, we can go to inputs outputs and we can define the inputs and outputs that I'm going to receive from these modules. OK, I just need to go to input outputs, go to binary inputs and I will see my modules there. For example, I can see the PTM or the IO8 that I included in my configuration. And now I just need to configure them as you see in a previous video like the standard ones. It's exactly the same. It has a function and we can put some functions and protection, whatever you want. It's like a standard one. The same for the outputs. It's exactly the same. You will see the outputs available from the modules. And I can just assign some, some function. In this case, some source. And the same for analog inputs, analog outputs. If I have some module with analog inputs, then it will appear here. And the same with analog outputs, it will appear here. It depends on the extension modules that I include in my configuration. I hope that this video has been useful for you. And in case of any questions, you can contact our technical support or you can see other of the or video tutorials that we are creating in our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.